Introduction The annals of African history are rife with tales of charismatic leaders, political upheavals, and the tumultuous struggle for power. Yet, amidst the narratives of progress and setbacks, one thread remains constant with the pervasive specter of political assassinations. From the verdant savannas of Burkina Faso to the sun kissed shores of Mozambique, the continent has witnessed the tragic demise of visionary leaders whose dreams for social transformation were cut short by the cold hand of violence. These assassinations, often shrouded in mystery and intrigue, serve as grim reminders of the turbulent journey towards democracy and stability in Africa. In this exploration, we delve into the shadows of history, unraveling the stories behind some of Africa's most impactful assassinations, each a chapter in the complex tapestry of the continent's struggle for liberation and self-determination. 1. President Thomas Sankara, Burkina Faso, 1987 President Thomas Sankara, often dubbed Africa's Che Guevara, embarked on a mission of radical social and economic transformation in Burkina Faso. His visionary leadership aimed to uplift the impoverished masses and challenge the neocolonial powers dominating Africa. Sankara's socialist policies, including land redistribution and women's rights reforms, threatened entrenched interests both domestically and internationally. His assassination in a coup orchestrated by his close associate to Blaise Compaert effectively halted Burkina Faso's revolutionary trajectory. Sankara's death not only robbed the nation of a charismatic leader but also signified a setback for progressive movements across Africa, too. President Melchior Nade, Burundi, 1993 President Melchior Nade's historic election as Burundi's first democratically elected Hutu president held promises of reconciliation and democratic consolidation in a country rife with ethnic tensions. However, his assassination in a coup led by Tutsi military officers shattered those hopes and plunged Burundi into a spiral of violence and instability. Nade's commitment to inclusivity and his efforts to bridge the ethnic divide posed a threat to entrenched power structures, leading to his untimely demise. His assassination underscored the deep-rooted divisions within Burundi's society and the formidable challenges of achieving lasting peace and unity. 3. President Lwandisa Kabila, Democratic Republic of the Congo, 2001 President Lwandisa Kabila's tenure in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, was marked by political turmoil, economic strife, and armed conflict. His assassination by one of his bodyguards exposed the fragility of governance in a nation ravaged by decades of internal strife and external interference. Kabila's efforts to assert national sovereignty and reclaim control over the country's vast mineral wealth threatened the interests of both domestic elites and foreign powers. His death in a failed coup attempt left a power vacuum, further exacerbating the humanitarian crisis in the DRC and prolonging the cycle of violence and instability. For President Agat Yuelingi Mina, Rwanda, 1994 President Agat Yuelin Yemena, Rwanda's first female prime minister, emerged as a voice of moderation and reconciliation during one of the darkest chapters in the country's history, the Rwandan genocide. Her assassination amidst the genocide's chaos further destabilized the nation and underscored the failure of international efforts to prevent the unfolding atrocities. Ewelling Imina's advocacy for peace and her commitment to bridging ethnic divides posed a threat to extremist elements seeking to perpetrate violence and division. Her death symbolized the tragic consequences of political extremism and the dire need for genuine reconciliation in post-genocide Rwanda. 5. President Samora Moshal, Mozambique, 1986 President Samora Moshal's death in a suspicious plane crash dealt a severe blow to Mozambique's quest for independence, stability, and development. As a revolutionary leader and champion of Mozambique's liberation from colonial rule, Moshal's assassination was widely believed to be orchestrated by apartheid-era South African forces opposed to Mozambique's support for anti-apartheid movements in the region. His untimely demise left a leadership void and heightened tensions in a country struggling to overcome the legacies of colonialism and foreign intervention. 6. President Ahmed Abdella, 
Comoros, the 1989 President Ahmed Abdullah's assassination in a coup led by French mercenary Bob Denard underscored the vulnerability of small island nations to external interference and geopolitical manipulation. Abdullah's efforts to assert Comoros' sovereignty and independence threatened the interests of foreign powers seeking to maintain control over strategic territories in the Indian Ocean. His death plunged Comoros into political turmoil and highlighted the challenges of achieving genuine self-determination in the face of external pressures and internal divisions. 7. President Félix Houphouët Boigny Côte d'Ivoire, 1993 President Félix Houphouët Boigny's death marked the end of an era in Côte d'Ivoire's history. As the country's founding father and longest-serving leader, Houphouët Boigny played a central role in shaping the nation's political and economic landscape. His passing triggered a succession crisis and political instability, exposing the challenges of democratic transition and governance in the region. Houphouët Boigny's death left a leadership vacuum, paving the way for a new era fraught with uncertainty and political maneuvering. 8. João Bernardo Vieira, the president of Guinea-Bissau, tragically met his end when soldiers attacked his residence in Bissau as a retaliation for the killing of Batista Tagminawe. This violent incident stemmed from escalating tensions and power struggles within the country's political landscape. Showcasing the fragility of governance in the region. 9. William R. Tolbert, Jr., the president of Liberia, became a casualty of the 1980 Liberian coup d'etat led by Samuel Doe, a pivotal moment in Liberia's history that altered the country's political trajectory. Tolbert's demise marked a significant turning point, illustrating the turbulent nature of power transitions in African nations during that era. 10. Richard Ratsimandrova, president of Madagascar, faced a tragic fate when he was shot just six days into his presidency following a military coup that plunged the nation into instability. His untimely death underscored the chaos and uncertainty that often accompany coups and political upheavals. Leaving Madagascar in a state of turmoil and uncertainty. 11. Ibrahim Beamenasara, the president of Niger, tragically met his demise in an ambush orchestrated by dissident soldiers, and underscoring the volatile and unpredictable nature of the country's political climate. His assassination sent shockwaves through Niger and raised concerns about stability and security in the region. The event served as a stark reminder of the challenges faced by leaders in navigating complex political landscapes fraught with internal tensions and power struggles. 12. Silvanus Olympio, the first president of Togo, faced a tragic end when he was assassinated during the 1963 Togolese coup d'etat, triggering widespread political upheaval in the region. His untimely death marked a turning point in Togo's history, leading to a period of instability and uncertainty as the country grappled with the aftermath of the coup. Olympio's assassination left a lasting impact on Togolese politics, shaping the trajectory of the nation for years to come. 13. Patrice Lumumba, the charismatic Prime Minister of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, met a grim fate when he was assassinated in 1961, shedding light on the turmoil and external interference that plagued the newly independent nation. Lumumba's assassination was a deeply controversial event that exposed the complex web of political rivalries and foreign interventions shaping the Congo's destiny. His tragic death reverberated across the continent, symbolizing the challenges faced by African leaders striving for independence and self-determination in a turbulent post-colonial era. 14. On April 6, 1994, Cyprin Tariamara, the president of Burundi, tragically lost his life in a plane crash. This devastating event also claimed the life of Rwandan President Juvenal Habirimena. The circumstances surrounding this incident have sparked significant debate and investigation over the years. The loss of these two leaders had profound implications for both Burundi and Rwanda, leading to further political instability and turmoil in the region. 15. John Garong, the prominent Sudanese political figure, was a key player in the Sudanese civil war. 
As the leader of the Sudan People's Liberation Army, SPLA, Garong fought for the rights and autonomy of the people of South Sudan, he died in a 2005 helicopter crash. He played a crucial role in the Comprehensive Peace Agreement of 2005, which eventually led to the independence of South Sudan in 2011. Garang's legacy as a visionary leader and freedom fighter continues to inspire many in the region.